guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to Banished. So, I've managed to finish this pastry here, and just as I finished it, this trader arrived, and he has cattle. So, so far I've bought one. And if we unpause the game here, hopefully they'll bring in some more firewoods, so we can afford a second one. So, we also have a lot of extra, you know, um, laborers right now. So we can have, like, plenty of herdsmen to do it. So I send in one cow over there. Hopefully if you guys can finish up with your little trading. There we go. Let's see, one, two, five, five hundred. That's half of what we need. And then we have 50 of these. There we go, we can buy another cow. So now we have two pieces of cattle. We can hopefully move in here and hopefully somehow they will start multiplying. The sheep in here are still being really, really slow. I'm thinking maybe we should move them into the big pasty over here. Um, yeah, let's move them up there. So empty this one. And stop working there. And then the sheep will go on a long journey up here. Here. And we can assign another herdsman. So we have two people working here, two people working there two here, and then one taking care of some spare chickens in here. But yeah, hopefully these cows, the two cows that we now have, will start actually breeding. Um, that is my my most sincere hope in the world right now. I want these cows to breed, I want the sheep to breed. And if that doesn't happen, then I, I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to I don't know, file a bug report. It seems wrong that it's not working. Like, it seems really wrong that it doesn't work like that. Anyway, um, I think this field here, we've managed to starve off or put off starvation for a while now. So we can build another house there. And also have allowed one of the, uh, some of the herdsmen to live a bit closer to their work now. Since we're kind of moving their work further and further away from town. I just, like, it, it, it just seems nice to me to have all the, um, like farming take place like this keep it on the outskirts of town rather than just smash it in the center I mean the cows here they're kind of different because well they produce milk and such hopefully we'll see but yeah I really really hope that these and uh, the cattle and the um, the sheep will start multiplying oh yes yes sheep sheep are working now we just need the, the cows to work um, do we want to buy an extra ca cow? I think... Yeah, let's buy an ex one, one more cow. Let's buy one more cow, and then see... You know, just, just as a backup, um, if one of them proves to be shooting blanks. That, that, um, that must have been what happened to the previous sheep. But at least um, we've managed to somehow get extra sheep now, we have five. So that's good. We have five sheep now, so wool is something that we will definitely have now. So that's good, that's something I really, really want. Um, now let's see, over here, this little chicken pen here is working nicely, it's, it's producing a lot of eggs and such. Um, this one over here should also start producing a lot of meat now that it um, it's full of chickens. And this one here will start producing leather and beef once uh, they fill up. I can't remember if they produce a, a milk at all, but they will definitely produce leather and beef once it fills up. But yeah, if we, we quickly look back, you can see this paster is rather big, 15 by 15. It only allows 11 cattle, so cattle take up a lot of space. Um, again, you can see the same thing, thing with here. This one here is about the same size, it allows 16 sheep. Whereas this one, the last 42 chickens. So chickens, like, they take up a third of the space or something like that. Um, again, that it makes it does make a lot of sense. Oh, look. Look, there's a little lamb. A tiny little lamb. There's also one over there, outside the fence for some reason. Although I don't see any... Baby chicks are not brown. Come on. Maybe they are, I don't know. I haven't seen enough baby chicks to know for sure, but... The general stereotype for baby chickens is that they're yellow, at least. 
So they should be re very easy to see, but they're kind of just brown and goes into the ground there. Another really good effect of having all the, like, moving all the animals out on the outskirts of town is that I don't have to listen to them all the time, so that's that. But yeah, um, if we look at the food supply right now, we have this field here, which produces a lot. We have these two, which also produce a lot. Uh, we got rid of the orchard. It really did not produce a lot. And we have a lot of extra laborers right now, and no one's building the house. All right. Um... You know what, let's just assign these laborers to actually do some stuff. We, c uh, we don't really need an extra stone cutter, that's the thing. We don't need an extra herbalist either, because we're not really consuming a lot of medicine. So, yeah, we don't really have jobs, so then that's, <laughs> that's that kind of the confusing thing. Um, again, we've been creating a lot of jobs with the extra pastures here, and the... Um, the big, the big farms, they produce a lot of jobs for people, so that's good. But there's only so many people left. Can we actually, like, just c customly create more jobs? Yeah, we can. Like, the, the, the number it gives here is sort of a... Like, whenever you start, first build something, it gives you a number of people that can work there. I don't know if you can... Like, some of them you can't squeeze in more people. But then, then again, some of them you can squeeze in more. Like the mine, uh, the mine here. This one is at 15, which was the default max, and you can put it up even higher. Uh, the forester's lodge, you c it has a maximum cap of four. Same with the gatherers, maximum four. But some of the other things, like the the cattle here, for instance, no, the, the pastures also have a max cap. All right. Now I don't know if there's any reason to have more vendors, more than one vendor. Um, I'm guessing we can try. Assigning one more. Ideal, ideally, like I, I don't see why more is beneficial. I don't think they deliver stuff to people. I think people still have to go pick it up. But they, then of course, two of them will be better able to pick up stuff from all the different storage facilities we have. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing really well. Um, it's early autumn. We're harvesting all the fields going along nicely. Sheep are slowly breeding. The cows, I can't wait to see a little calf in here. I am so hoping that we have a breeding pair and not just um, blank shooters again. We have this little stupid mountain here. I don't think we can actually do anything useful with it. Can we smash a mine on it? Nope. Can't squeeze a mine on it. It's too small. Can we, I don't know, build a tunnel through it? Yes, we can, if we want to. Is there any reason to build a tunnel through it? Nope. Not that I know of, at least. Except, of course, it would look kind of cool. Um, but then again, Sacrificing 80 stone just to have a, a sort of cool tu cool tunnel um, doesn't really seem like a good idea. Besides, um, like you don't ever if you need to go from here to here, it's gonna be just as bad to go this way than it is to go through a tunnel here. So I'd rather use all the stone to you know upgrade my roads. Which again, speaking of upgrading roads, there's probably something that we should do. Can we upgrade this silly one here? Yes, we can. And I actually think that might be very beneficial to us. So, yeah, let's proceed with that. Um, where else are people walking a lot? Right here, actually. So let's get that going. Um, that doesn't need builders, so... Okay, food is actually going up a lot. Um, and... I've Kind of regretting already re understanding the builders now because we need an extra stone house there. Again, population is booming. We're actually over a hundred population right now. I think that's um, that's a rather new thing that we've managed. Population, uh, yeah, it's it happened uh, about two years ago. So now that we're at a hundred population, I think is there any achievements that's to do with a hundred? 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, 300. Yeah, if we can go 10 years from now on and be happy and healthy, then we get some achievements for that. So that's brilliant. 2,000 paved road tiles. That's a lot. But eventually, like, if we replace all the stuff with the paved road, we'll have it. Uh, the livestock, 60 cattle, 75 sheep, and 180 chickens. You can see that's like f 4 or 5 pastures of each with the size that we have right now. Um, the farmer thing, um, eventually, like, if we buy enough seeds and such. See, this one, export here, could be interesting to try and achieve. 500 daily, 300 steel tools, 200 warm coats, that's the... Again, it, it's just amplifying, that's the stuff you want to sell. <laughs> one with nature, that's, that's a really ridiculous. Fill graveyards with at least 400 graves. So, all right. So you're supposed to just keep all your graves around. Like again, that's that's another way you can use the achievements. Kind of tell you how are you supposed to play this game. Um, and as you can see, the cattle are breeding. We have a little calf there, although it just kind of looks like a smaller cow model, and not really a calf as such. But whatever, I can I can live with that. So we finally have all the livestock, and they're actually working. Like they're not broken. God, I hate broken sheep. <laughs> oh, that that really threw me for a loop there. Get a little road set in here. We can build a row of houses here, and they'll be supplied by the uh, the market fine enough. We even have enough. Let's actually toss in a house over here, and hopefully the herdsmen that that work the furthest away will uh, move in there. The tailor does live very far away from all the uh, the wool being produced, but um, again, he can he can live with that. We have a trader, and he brought cattle. We don't need cattle anymore. Sorry. So, yeah, we actually don't need to trade with you anymore at all, unless you want to buy some some more livestock again. I can sell you some chickens. I'd love to get um, if we could trade chickens for cow uh, for cattle. That'd be brilliant. But yeah, as you can see, full. 420 eggs, 108 chicken meat. It's it's starting to pay off now. Like, the the larger pastures are s definitely worth more than small ones. I think this one is, like, it's working 18 chickens for one farmer. This one is working, like, 21 for one farmer. So th that's about 20 chickens per farmer. That's um, ideal, it seems. Um, this one's going to be, like, 5 cattle, 5 or 6 cattle per, per farmer. Which again, I think it's a it's a good number. We'll see once we actually get the um, like once they once we start filling it up. No, nope, we can't squeeze in a road all the way through here. Although we can make a partial road, which will again split uh, help them move past. But um, yeah, not a lot of sense being made there. I don't know how much ale we're actually consuming. Can we see that here? Alcohol. People are drinking alcohol. They are drinking it. But they're not, uh, like... It's not disappearing completely, and it's... We're producing it at a decent, a decent rate. We're making it out of berries at the moment, because we don't have any seeds that actually um, allow us to... Uh, to make um, alcohol from them, apart from the apple seeds. But we do actually have a lot of laborers now, so we could set up another orchard again and try our luck. Um, in that case, let us do it all the way out of t outside of town here. So there is this little hill here somewhere that we need to see where exactly is it. You can see it here. Um, all right, so it, st it stops here. So if we start the orchard here, the orchard is too large. Like, why can an orchard only be 15 by 15? It's not really a lot. Like, it's it's kind of small, really. 15 by 15, considering all the other stuff that we have here. That's a lot bigger. Um, I think we ended this here, so we ha could have a road here. So what if we... Like, again, there's room for another orchard here, but we'd have to, like, start it from... from this layer end. 
Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just do it. Like, let's, let's get some apples up in here. Um, we have the laborers to do it. And then we have the... Yeah, we have the herdsmen. Herdsmen have moved out here, so that's good. That's what we wanted. Um, we Let's get an extra stone cutter going. Now, eventually this core is going to run out of stone. There's no doubt about that. As you can see, 59% remaining. It's given us a lot of stone already, and it's working really well. But eventually we're going to have to build a new one. But uh, that day is not today. Both forest lodges are doing fine. Both generous huts are doing just fine as well. Like, this one had a really good season last season. Um, this one, not quite as good. But then again, it does have a this area here, which is not really that good for a gatherer. And for once, they've actually managed to build my roads when I requested the, them to do so. So that's good. Good. Apples. And get two more farmers. This one up here is being planned out as well. Like, the, they just need to pick up all this stuff and put it in storage somewhere. And then we need to, again, get a little road going here. We also have this area here we can use for something. Um, I'm thinking... What could we potentially put there that makes sense? Like, it would either be a stockpile... Uh, we could have a decent sized stockpile here. But uh, then again, there's not really anything over here that's go that goes into stockpiles. Uh, we already have a storage barn for food and such, and products, so... That's not needed either. Alright, so the crop field here lost a farmer because this one actually wanted free, so let's do that one. And then once we have this orchard, we'll just leave it bare until we have a, a new seed to plant there. We have an extra 500 fish here, which have been lying here for close to 20 years now. Um, <laughs> that really is quite impressive that it hasn't gone bad yet. I'm kind of hesitant as well to, to move it like away from, from here because, well, who the fuck would want to eat eight-year-old fish? Most definitely not, not any of our guys, so, yeah. We're gonna have to export it somehow. Just get rid of it. Give it make it someone else's problem. Alright, we no longer need builders because we're not building anything, although another stone house over here would make sense. So, let's reassign a builder again. <laughs> back and forth and back and forth. There is actually an achievement to have like two in every profession and never bother. Or, or ne and never go go below that for five, like five years. But that would mean we'd need another tailor, we'd need another brewer, another blacksmith, we'd need another teacher, another physician, another cleric. It would need, mean we need a lot of other stuff that we don't have yet. But I guess, like, we could potentially start investing in a second tailor and a second... Um, second blacksmith now because we might end up having a surplus of um, you know leather and wool being produced once this one fills up but again that'll it'll take some time and like time is really the big thing in this game everything just takes time and you just have to sit back and play the game enjoy it watch as time passes and then intervene when 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 necessary And I think this, this crop field here was a pretty good intervention. Um, we, we needed that, that was necessary. If not, we might have been in trouble. But yeah, it's gonna take a couple of seasons for the orchard here to be ready again. But hopefully it won't get all the same problems that the, the previous one had. But we'll see about that. There are some things we don't really have control over. Like the warmer the weather is and the more sun we have, the, fa the, the faster these crops will grow. And as you can see, 99% yield there, so this one is like... Once they start harvesting this, um, like the the warmer the summer it, uh, the, it is, the earlier the field will be ready for harvest, meaning that the more time people have to actually do it and dust, the uh, the more they will most likely get out of it. But yeah, right now we just need all of our people to actually harvest these fields, empty them out, get all the stuff, and they're working on it slowly but surely. We have builders not doing anything. We have a bit of 
again enough stone to build another house. Let's just keep doing that. And then before too long we're gonna we're gonna move this field again, but hopefully we can get like some other seeds and such so we don't need to have a bunch of fields with the same with the same crops on. We also need to start building some houses up here so we can have a slightly more efficient forester. Uh, log limit 200, that's not high enough. Let's set it up to 300. And we've just taken all the stone to build this house. Alright, well, fa fair enough. But yeah, early autumn and you can see the harvest is actually almost done on this field. We still have these two. This one grows a bit slower though, so it makes sense for it to be half, uh, half the last. We have up, we're up all the way up to seven sheep now. Very nice. Still 42 chickens in here. Still producing tons of tons of food now. Not tons, but quite a bit of food. Lovely amount of food. And someone just died again. <laughs> I'm just wondering with the whole graveyard thing. Um, it would make a lot more sense if we like zoom all the way out and see. Oh, all right. Where will we never ever expand to? And just toss the graveyard over there because, well, people don't really need to visit there, as far as I know. Although, that's actually a quite a nice little area in the mountains here, like, just in inside here. Um, let's see, where else do we have? Another, another big flat area over here, that's very nice. I've got a few mountains around the place. To be honest, I think um, I think we're actually gonna get that 50 tile bridge achievement because I think we need to build a bridge over here at some point. So if we like take the uh, take the road here and just bridge, 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 bridge. Can you even build a bridge that that long? That is the question. Can you start it here? Yes, you can, and it's 76 long, 300 wood, 76 stone. You know what? Not now. Later. Not now. I need a, I need a cliffhanger to end this episode on, so that's going to be that. Uh, next time, hopefully, we'll build a very long bridge and get my, me an achievement. So, yeah, we'll see about that. So, until next time, I'm Jerry. This has been Banished, Australia Simulator 2014, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.